Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 16 of my Astasia Expert playthrough, and uh, I got myself some ancient debris here. Eh, not the first piece, but I completely spaced the pack that there was the scannable mod in this pack. So, for one thing, I need to put some stuff away here. And I've got a few, or a couple more Tinker books. I actually went through and put like that away, I think, for now. But uh, I actually went through the uh, JEI and Mighty Smelting does exist. As opposed to Puny Smelting. Alright. So tools, sledgehammer, excavator cleaver, scythe. Then the tier 3 metals. Okay. Like rose gold is enhanced. Okay. It was great with a bonus upgrade. Interesting. So like rose gold binder would be a good thing. And then we have Fantastic Foundry. Hottest new book on melting metals. Coming soon to a bookshelf near you. Book on a better way to melt metals. Give up on smelteries. The foundry is fantastic. Make the alloys. Found lava too weak. Why not like by okay, liquid blazes? We figured that one out. How to get a blaze into the smeltery. If you're that nerd, Melvin, you might suggest drink fire resistance and then use a piggyback or an high core sling. Perfect if you want to get burnt to a crisp. Real Smelter Master, just bring the smelter to the blazes. Just add fuel and it absorbs these fools before they realize what is happening. Okay. Not portable enough? Try turning your tool into handheld smeltery. Melts attacked mobs into the tool's tank. Dropped items are also melted if possible. Tool can be emptied into a tank or smeltery. Requires one ability slot single use. Well, that's kind of interesting now. Tier 4 metal, Queen Slime. Epatizion, 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 hmm. uh, Queen Slime, tool takes some durability as new over some new over slime subjects, and consumes over slime instead of durability until it runs out, okay, momentum, mining blocks increases your speed as long as you keep going, oh cool, that's the old cobalt ability, and then manual is still insatiable, during combat, you deal more and more damage every time you hit an enemy. And that's it for a fantastic boundary, which is a bit of a downer because I was hoping... Like, is a foundry made the same way as a smeltery? Or is it more like the, uh, the seared ovens and whatnot of yesteryear? Also... You're pretty much... Yeah, you're caught up now. Oh, my, my magnet's on. I also just got back from roaming around and uh, gathering new and interesting resources. Uh, like, I got lemons and oranges now. Pomegranate, peaches. Got redwood. Got a few more crops. Got soursop. I've got a bag full of junk now. And... There we go. I was going to say, I thought I had some gold dust as well. So... You and you can go in there. And... You know what? I'm just going to start keeping eggs in my dank for now. I mean, it seems like a good idea. And I have got a lot of netherrack to cook up here. You know what? I'm just going to grab one of these crates out of here. Not you. You. Full storage crate. Since the crushing wheels were a bit of a downer for my purposes. Oh well. Let's go ahead and not put the oranges in. I don't think they'll uh, be very good over there. And let's see. Is there anything else in here I want to cook up? Uh, soul sand. I want to make some scoria stone and play around with that a bit too. Which I should have some in here. Uh, yeah, Scoria from Create. So, there's different variants and whatnot of the Scoria you can mess around with. Uh, let's see. Got a bunch of stuff here to empty out. But this is what I was looking for. The Netherite Axe, the God Slayer. And it's just your standard Netherite Axe. Physical damage pierces armor. Uncommon. I just look kind of cool. It was one of those uh, enchantment tower things. And we got a Radial Iron Pickaxe, Blatant Magic of Lights. Breaks in a 3x2. 
Right clicking will place a torch to the cost of one durability. Not bad if it wasn't iron. But, you know, oh well. Alright, so let's get that put away. And I guess I can eat some sky slime. So, full box can have that and that. Got to put that netherrack in. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Saplings, right? I've got a bunch over here. Yeah. And I'm going to need a crafting table because I got to do. It's eight fruit plus a sapling, so. Definitely need that three by three. We got orange and chestnut. Any other fruit? No, nah, I think I got it all. Okay. Jump boost and slowness three. So I have a hard time moving forward, but I can I can bounce real high. Now something else I meant to do is give me a fifteen will work for now. I need some, some cactus green. Okay, there we go. And there you are. And steak can just go into the... Oh, I missed pomegranate. Dang it. Alright. Any other fruits now? No, nah, I think we're good. All right, so we're, yeah, we're making cactus paste, which I can actually make Midori blocks out of, or I can do it one to one into into green dye. So, hey, there we go, and we'll just do that because if I want any upgrades, I'm going to need this stuff. So, scannables. Let's go ahead and make the scanner first, and pretty basic. It's iron, iron bars. Redstone quartz gold and holds 5,000 power. So, can I drop you in here and have you charged? No. Okay, well, there's that. Let's go toss this last little bit of netherite. Netherrack into there. I'm sure I say netherite and netherrack at the same time. That didn't work quite so well. And I upgraded that uh, unbreakable diamond helmet I had into netherite. I haven't enchanted it yet. I'm almost curious to see if I can get up to... Oh, we're doing good there. Oh, how would you do that? Thank you. Not you. Uh, here. Uh, you can go in there too, I guess. Let's see if I can get to 100 levels before I start enchanting stuff. Alright, but I need upgrades now. So I need... Let's go with three blank scanner modules, I think. Right, that's, yeah, I can have three active modules at once, so, that works. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of range modules, because, well, probably the most useful out of all of them. And then we're going to go for a specific block, which is any forged stone. And it's grabbing the regular one anyway. All right, cool. Then what I can do with this is just be like, hey, going, And now you are configured block, ancient debris. Let's go ahead and put those two in there. And for now, you're just going to sit here. Now let's go ahead and get another one of you. And what's something else that would be... I mean, I could always just go rare ores. And we'll just go ahead and drop that in here. And I can probably drop that in there. Uh, did find a better a, a better treasure map. Went ahead and looted that up. I don't think I need redwood for anything anytime soon. How much power did that take? 275. And... Oh, it actually gives tooltips now so you can see what's what. 
All right, that's... I like that. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm going to need a lot of this stuff in the future, so I figured let's go ahead and at least save this block here until we can uh, get the scanner going for it. Seems like it could be a good idea. Let's see. You're on ingot mode, right? Yeah. There you go. Uh, so we got one more netherite, and we got 42 more cobalt. Now, which one of these picks... This one has not, this one doesn't. Okay. So my fortune pick needs netherite. That'll boost the mining level, durability, attack. Mining speed goes up considerably. And gives piercing too. Alright, awesome. So hoppers, right? I want to make some more of the uh, the hopping botany pots, right? These things. Hopper botany pots. I need flower pots. I need terracotta. How am I doing on terracotta? Not great. Uh, how about clay? Give me two stacks of that, please. Thank you. And in you go. But I want to get at least some of this stuff here uh, grown up and whatnot. And I don't want to actually grow it like that. Honestly, I should have put that into a hopping botany pot. Now, you are probably done. I don't see myself needing a huge amount of hellbark. Uh, spruce, probably should keep that around. Uh, you know, I should probably get this birch out of here. And maybe grow some more mineral stuff? I don't know. It's an aura fungus. I got that from the nether and I just shoved it in that box for some reason. Probably... Yeah, no, actually I can't grow it, so... Oh, you ran out of power. Yeah, I kind of AFK'd for a bit. Had a phone call happen and I just AFK'd on top of the... Uh, I don't know what we call it, Blaze Farm, maybe? But yeah, it, uh, drained out my buffer for my, my logistic laser system. And it's going to be drained for a bit because this solar panel, or panel is not the absolute greatest. I wonder. No, I can't even take accelerate that thing. Okay. There we go. Now we should see items going in. Yeah, okay. Good. I am getting a decent amount of shroom lights, though. Now, flame lily seeds. Or maybe it was... I just need the actual lily? These things, I think, they count as blaze powder is what it is in recipes. Oh, they count as blaze rods. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can use them as fuel to smelt 12 items, but I was looking at a way to grow these things. Yeah, I can crush them into blaze powder as is. Okay, cool. I mean, they are exactly blaze rods when you get down to it. But apparently I can't... Uh... Put them into botany pots. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, let's get this uh, hell bark out of here. So, uh, just give me a dirt for now. Yep, no. Tried, didn't work. Well, we can get that done for a bit here. So let's get that put away. Same with that aura fungus. And I 
Go ahead and get these. I am planting them, I guess. Uh, tools. Here's a question. Actually, first things. I found them in the desert. So they just, okay, they just plant on, on sand. Okay. Well, that works. All right. So we got our scanner done now. Um, got a bunch of fruit things. Let's see. Is there anything else interesting that I got here? Ah, oh, figs. That's another damn tree. Okay. Dang it. I did get a heart of the sea out of that very treasure. Heart forged sea shelf. Hmm. And then there's conduits. Do condos have any uses? Not really, no. The glyph of lightning. Okay. That's it. The so heart of the sea, you know, it's like, eh, it's, it's a thing. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. Alright. And. There, so I ended up with seven fruit tree saplings. So that should help quite a bit with the uh, foodstuffs here. Well, yeah, uh, just a little bit. So, I'm going to just look up each, right? Each jelly, peanut butter, or roasted peanuts. Okay. So I've got the juice and I got the jelly. Now, probably I am actually out of peanut butter now, aren't I? Yep, and then we get a peach jelly sandwich. Not a deal. And yeah. I really need to work on an actual kitchen. Alright, so I got myself a kitchen made. Getting tired of not having one. So I got a good view of that mess and uh, all the tools are on the wall or in the oven. Cutting board is actually placeable on the counter and I'm hoping it works. Uh, that is, let's see, like a fruit salad would use it, right? Yep. Okay, cool. It's there. Awesome. So I've got a spice rack here for different seasonings and whatnot. And then I've kind of separated out my crops so I can kind of keep them somewhat together and whatnot. Uh, mainly for the purpose of I don't want to have like artichokes here and here and then here. And I've got a lot of storage space here, so. But for now, I mean, it's, yeah, I got regular veggies, I got grains, I've got anything that grows in the ground, you know, root vegetables, legumes, so on and so forth. Then I got proteins. And then in the fridge here is anything that is a prepped food. Uh, cheese, peanut butter, bread, stock, all that wonderful stuff. Speaking of which, I probably should get some bones. And let's see. Yeah, I mean, there's quite a bit of things I haven't actually eaten yet. Uh, really, you can't use bones for stock anymore, really. Well, that's a little bit of a shame now, isn't it? Oh, no, you can. Just as the uh, cooking for block has decided that no, we're going to. Uh, you know, want to use a pork chop instead, which I don't want it to do. Now, cooked cod, there's really no foods I can make out of this, so I'm not too worried about it. And there's still like I got mutton I can put in there. Got some Pam's corn. Amaranth, a uh, cooked salmon might have a use. Uh, oats and peas. Okay. That stuff is going to have to be grown. Lentil and cassava, I've already got over there in my garden. Uh, cassava, yeah. Go here. Amaranth, it's not really... It's, it's a grain, I guess, would be the best way to put it then. Okay. Uh, peas need to be grown still. Oats, probably the same. I can put one of them in here, though. Yeah, I don't have any oats yet. And then cooked salmon. Heart container from Cyclic. Completely forgot about that. Ah, I need rabbit stew for that, though. All right. Well, you can just go in there for now. 
and then mutton can go in here. Would corn be considered? I think I've got it in with veg right now, don't I? I've got the thermal corn. Corn's technically a grain, though, isn't it? Just from, well, not. Well, corn is a grass, actually, when you get down to it. So, yeah, I guess it would be a grain, wouldn't it? Uh, lentils are definitely a grain. But what all is that used for? Literally just, yeah, okay, it's a grain. And, hey, I can make a chicken dinner with cassava. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, and then peas would be a vegetable, which I have not have planted yet. Okay. Yeah, let's not fall in the hole there. I'm thinking maybe I should set up some sort of uh, chicken farm thing. Might be a good idea. Now, do I actually have any slots left to grow things? I don't. Look at this. My garden is full. Well, kinda. This row here is going to be carrots once it's done, but I haven't quite hit that point yet. Uh, yeah. Do that, I guess. And... Four, five, six, seven. Here as well. I'm gonna have to go get myself a hoe now. I am surprised that my matic hadn't broken yet, actually. Well, that's kind of cool how it actually overlaps on that way, too. And yeah, I've got like three blocks left. Okay. Yeah, I need, I need a hoe. Let's see, is there anything I can do with sugarcane besides? I can do sugarcane bundles or the block of sugarcane from thermal. Nature, glomerario. Ah, oh, okay, for nature seeds, makes sense. You know, actually, what does it take to make this thing? Ah, yeah, that's right. That's the issue I'm having with. I remember there was a reason I hadn't gotten into mystical agriculture yet. I just can't remember exactly what that reason was. Alright, and... Oh. Also, how is my lemon doing? Uh, 13 lemons so far? Okay. I've just decided instead of making a bunch of bonsai pots, I'm just going to grow... A lot of fruit and then keep the saplings around. Also the fruit baskets where I've been keeping my fruit. And then if I need more in the future then I've got the saplings I can just pop them into a hopping bonsai pot or botany pot for a while and, and call it good. So oats and peas were pretty much it, right? So far. Uh, thermal corn, I've already got growing anyway. That's if I got that one. Now, let's see. Kind of staying away from the... Yeah, I had lentils planted good. Uh, the thermal crops for the most part. They can't really... They don't or dictionary with the Pam stuff. Which, yeah.
Dang it. Flubbed the jump and uprooted some crops I didn't want to. Alright, that was it for whoopses. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, but yeah, I should be doing pretty good on, on foods for a while anyway. Hey, we got arrowroot. And there's actually quite a few things that I just need to just eat as is as well. I'm at this point I'm really curious to see how many how many hearts I can get. Uh let's see. Uh, yeah, cassava is a thing. Arrowroot is a thing. Did I where I didn't have arrowroot, really, did I? Let's see, the peas are a thing. Let's go ahead and convert that over into sugar. Uh, we got huckleberry now, which is awesome. Chickpea, that's a grain. And then Pam's corn can go into there, and lentils can go there. Awesome. And then I've got a good amount of the hemp fiber. Right, but one thing I do want to do is let's go ahead and get ourselves a hopper, hopper botany pot. Uh, do I have any boxes left? Yeah, I do. And let's go ahead and put that down, put you there. Grab some sand out of here. And cactus. Probably going to need more of it in the future, so might as well have it available. And... Alright. So how is our lemon doing now? Got five more. The lemon is probably one of those things where I can get a decent amount of use out of it. Yeah. So the fruit crumble, smoothies. Oh yeah, that's the thing I can do. At cooking. Heating unit, ice unit, and preservation chamber. Uh, yeah, we're going to do the ice unit here. Now, here's a question. Did I ever get any snow? I did not. Okay. Well, snow comes from, well, frozen cores. Oh, snowman drop. Thing. Man infusion. Yeah, no. no. I'll pass on that. Thank you. Here we go. Snow block is still water and a pure daisy. So... Grab that out. Grab ourselves a bucket of water. Do I have any aquamarine in here? I do. Sweet. Alright, so pure daisy. Should get us four blocks of snow. What's that doing? Uh, under eighty-seven buckets. Did you? What? How? Huh? Oh, something spawned in there. Now it's got blood stuck in the pipe. Ah, uh, okay. Right then. Well, there's two ways to fix that. There's the lazy way, which is just break the pipe and redo it. Why would I look in there? Uh, it's like it's a drum, not a barrel. Or I can just make another one of these. I'm going to make a stone drum. Uh, really? That's a smooth stone slab, huh? Okay. And now that is smooth stone. Okay. Um, I need three of these, so. I do need more smooth stone. Uh, can I make this stuff with... I can. Bulk blasting. Okay. Speaking of which, are you still... You are... done, huh? 
All right, well, let's, uh... Why not? Yep. You should be done with that now, and... Be able to make that drum so I don't have to worry about this ever happening again until... Well... It's like 16 buckets worth of blood that it would be able to store up. And I've got half a bucket now. Okay. And I love how you can't tell what the hell was what. Now we're up to 124 buckets of that Molten Blaze. And being there on Starlight, awesome. I could be doing more with Astral, but I'm building up uh, Liquid Starlight for now. You are slowly filling up, which is good. So you can have that. And let's go ahead and shut that off. Now... No. Uh, bronze. Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm just all over the place. Uh, can I get, like, two of those, please? Thank you. You can have that. What I should do, though, is set up a snowman farm somewhere. For, San uh, for snow in the future, anyway. Probably would be a decent idea. I, you never know when you're going to need more of this stuff. Alright, so you just need to be... I know I'm going to need a few of these. Uh, you know what? Just give me a stack of these. Is that going to do it? No, literally did one. Oh, that's... Seriously, no. Stop. Why would you pull treated sticks for that? That is an or dictionary issue. But at least I have some of those now. All right, so I need a comparator, which would be like, oh, it's any stone, okay. That. And I can make one of these. Provide snow and ice to recipes. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore? Uh, it used to put a little, like, ice tray in the front of the fridge. Oh, well. But now I should be able to make, like, say, smoothies, right? Hey, look at that. Apparently there's no apple smoothie anymore, though. But that is something I have not gotten into at all now. And I've got a whole lot of new foods to try out. Speaking of which... Have some peas. Remember, folks, give peas a chance. And hey, we got some cactus. Awesome. Uh, that can go away. Probably not a great idea, but uh, that does make me think of something, though. Why? I keep thinking that this is going to be synced up over to here. Uh, feral Flare Lantern, though. Any glass, gold, okay. Yeah, that's easy enough, right? Yeah, I guess that works. And, of course, you didn't give me the last piece of glass I needed, huh? There we go. But I can put these around instead, and they will light up the area just as well as, you know, the torches do, but without being, you know, as visible. So, do I have any, like, uh, what do we have for options for, like, walls? Uh, a decent amount, right? Compact machine. Oh, hey, we have compact machines. 
not something I've really paid attention to for the most part, which is probably about tier 7, tier 8. Wow. I forgot that, uh, yeah, environmental tech goes up to tier 8 now instead of just tier 5, I think it was. Uh, let's see. Waystone slate. Do like cobblestone brick, I guess. What do we got out of that? Uh, five. Basically, just a bit of a post to put the lamp on, so it's not just sitting straight on the ground. And, oh yeah, that's great. But what this will do is slowly start populating the area with fake lights in areas that are dark now. So I am going to have to go through and take the torches out. But, uh... A small price to pay, and it'll get me a stupid amount of torches. All right, so let's go ahead and bring up our light overlay. You see now, okay, there's dark spots, right? And now, over time, we should start seeing these, you know, yellow X's just go away on their own. I think this thing, it's based off of chunks, isn't it? It's like a 3x3 three three center on the chunk it's located in. So it'll do this one, and then out here, and then basically 3x3 three three center on this, right? from this chunk and then out one in each direction. And that's a region. Too bad it didn't do by regions, but that's... A region is a chunk of chunks, so... And isn't there, like, some sort of setting I can... Not anymore. Also, why don't you... Oh, yeah. Saw some like I said. Why don't you connect? Okay, yeah, you're, uh... Do I have, uh... I, I have my... And all on me here, okay. Yeah, texture's not quite right there. You can actually, you could, uh, you're decent enough at it. I guess you could, uh, turn that into a bit of an x ray. But yeah, most of the yellow X's I made have now been gone. Uh, if you want to speed this up. They used to respond the tick accelerators. They still do. Okay, cool. But it does take its time to uh, get all that taken care of. Which is why I didn't want to do it at nighttime, because it's not an instantaneous thing. That many lighting updates would probably, you know, not necessarily crash you, but it would make your game really, really unhappy with you for quite a while. But, yeah, I can replace the fields of torches with uh, this wonderful thing. Well, not just one of them, but... Oh, I just picked up a bunch of eggs. I don't know. There we go. And, yeah. So, future... I'm going to be pulling torches out as I go. And this thing will do underground caves as well. I think it is one of the main uses for it, really. But for that, actually, cave illuminator. I need four ruined marble, two aquamarine, and two illumination powder. So do I have any, what do I have for marble in here? I, I have one. Uh, how did you make green marble again? It was just three marble in a line? Okay. Now what here? Oh no, it's chiseled in the middle. Okay, that's right. 
sitting here thinking, like, I don't want to use the chiseled if I don't have to, and it turns out you have to. So, aquamarine. Uh, let's go ahead and just request two of those. I know I've got some on me, but then two of you. And uh, do we have any starlight power at all right now? We do not. Okay. So that's going to have to wait till nighttime then. But in the meantime, I can put, uh, no, put that away. That away. Why did I not start pulling those out? Oh, now it is. Okay. Probably good enough on the lemon front for now. And need you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Go and we'll go with oranges now. And we'll just put the lemon away. Same with uh, that stuff there. And we have ourselves a lemon to eat. Because yes, great lemon is just like the best. Where is the sun at now? Oh, it's like noon. Hmm. Alright, so it's nighttime now. And doing a little bit of decoration around here. Good nether bricks. It's a nether brick plus a warped wart block. And I kinda like it actually. Yep. So what are we at? Okay, we are golden on the cable eliminator. Now I just need my thing. Resonating wand. Uh, that one. Oh, that was a quest. Okay, cool. Um, so you can go there for now. And this thing will start lighting up all the caves in the immediate area, which is rather nice, actually. Let's see. Astral. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Uh, the looking glass. I need glass lens, which is pain plus aquamarine. Yeah, I'll worry about that. Well, telescope is the main thing you use the looking glass for, and I can make that right now. So let's just go ahead and add that to favorites. All right, do I have any pains? Ah, no. Of course not. All right. Actually kind of low on glass, too. All right, here we go. And I managed to get myself a stack of the Manny Infused String. So, put that in there for now. I'll be able to start on Blood Magic later on, but uh, for now, I want to do this, right? So, but not that. Uh, these. Here we go. Alright, so you plus that. And then the Looking Glass was also of one gold. Four sticks and some planks. Okay. Uh, let's see. I should have some planks laying around. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and clear that out. And then the telescope also needs three more sticks, another plank. Just, what, two more gold? So three gold total. And I can use this to help find constellations to do stuff and things with an astral. That's a highly technical explanation, but... There it goes. Hey, quest complete looking glass, and then telescope, please.
Okay. Um, there's the arrows. I don't know why I wasn't seeing the arrows beforehand. And what I'm looking for are these here, these brighter stars here. And so what I'm going to have to do now is go grab our tome. And constellations. I have to match up those stars with the known constellations that I have so far. And that'll give me more information about the constellations. Later on, I will be able to attune myself to a constellation. And that'll give me different effects and everything else like that. Probably going to go with Visio because, well, A, I always go with Visio. I just really like the benefit I get from it. Or not the benefit, the uh, how you gain experience with that constellation, which is by running around. But you have to basically compare these line drawings here and try to figure out which constellation this is. And then you play basically connect the dots, right? And I, I mean, I know that's not a constellation, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Easiest way to do it is count stars and okay, it's Armara. All right, so we go this, it was like that. Hey, we found Armara. Yeah, you can count the stars or basically if you just add it in general shape too, it'll give you an idea of what it is. And now we have Armara. A repulsive force comes from the light of the constellation, similar to a shield or protective barrier. Dispersing this light into a protective barrier reflects projectiles, pushes mobs outside its reach, and makes allies more resilient to damage. Frequency increases as more starlight is channeled into the ritual. So basically, it repels shots, gives you, I think it's... I remember exactly what it is, like toughness or whatever. And uh, pushes mobs away from where the ritual is based on. But that's something we haven't really even gotten towards yet. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. I never picked it up afterwards. And now I have to pick this up. So that quest gets completed as well. Alright, and then the attunement altar. Celestial gateways are actually pretty handy too. Craft iron ore, replacing iron chunk in the crafting table because silk touch won't work. What? Oh, hey. So there's a dark spot around here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. Probably, oh, right here. Dude, quit shooting my damn cows. And he just broke my chest plate. All right, so this area here, I'm guessing, is out of reach of that feral fire lantern. So that one should help now. Oh, did it again. All right. I wonder if I could put another... Actually, I wonder... If I put another lamp at the top there, it would probably interfere with the windmill operation. I might try it out, though. We can shoot my cows. All right. Well, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um... Do you want to, like, do your damn job here? Hey, there it goes. So yeah, this should slowly disappear then. So I'm probably going to need quite a few of those feral for lanterns, but... That there is lighting up all the way over to here. I'll have to look up the exact rules on them again. I thought it was a three by three. It might not be though. But oh well, it's still fairly an obtrusive uh, way of lighting something up. And if we were to go to the cave systems now, pretty much all the caves in the area are going to be lit up now. Well, area uh, within a certain range. Let's see, inspiration. Yeah, here we go.
Let's see. Tiny device directly from the nighttime POSIC field or more advanced HTS illumination wand. Can provide light coverage over a wide area. Inspiring and spiraling vertical layers eight meters apart. Going to sparks using a starlight powered device far better. Okay. I'm guessing you can use the illumination wand to make this thing work underwater. Or not underwater, underground. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.